Hey guys, I'm back with, I believe this is part five of my this other five or six Space Crusade upgrade series of videos. Um, just finished another group. Uh, this time it's the Blood Angels. Uh, the last video was the Ultramarines. So you're going to see pretty similar things here uh, to what you saw in the last video. So without further ado, let's get going. So this again is the marine with the light bolter um, i've got about five of these as i said in the previous video um, you need a few of them because what tends to happen is when you lose the heavy weapon you have to replace it with this one so this is the original sculpt from the game and i will now show you the ones that i've got to replace him Hopefully the camera will stay in focus. Here's the first one. Try and keep it central, because I think if you move it just off center, the camera goes out of focus. So there's him. Here's the next guy. Third one. Say so I've got five of these. I'll just get the, hold the camera a bit better. Uh, the fourth. And finally, the fifth one. This one's a little bit different. I've got him to represent if you decide to put a targeter on the bolter gun, you can use him. So that's the light bolter guys. Uh, put another pause in here and come back. We'll start taking a look at the heavy weapon guys. Okay, the first one. This is the um, assault cannon that you get with the original game. So I do apologise for this camera work. Generally speaking, when you have the light on on the camera, it does go in and out of focus more than you would if you didn't have the light on. And this is the guy I've replaced him with. Um, I did have another figure that I had, well, I've got that I could use as well. Um, but I'd rather go with this one. I like the head. Okay, next up we have the guy with the rocket launcher. And he's been replaced with this one. Uh, I believe this is the combi weapon. This is from the Mission Dreadnought expansion, this heavy weapon. And again, because I couldn't find one with a weapon similar to that, I had to use the flamer instead. Gives a similar sort of effect in the game, so that's why I went with the flamer. Next up we have this guy, I think this is the multi-melter or something like that I think it's called. Again this is from the Mission Dreadnought expansion. And the guy I've used to replace him is this one. Again it's a little bit like a flamer but I'm going to have it down as a multi-melter. Good enough for what I want. Uh, 
Let's face it, flamers do melt. Uh, next up we have the guy with the plasma gun. And his replacement. A lot of purists out there were saying you're not sticking to the same squad because of the emblems, all that sort of thing. I'm not really bothered about that. I just want something to represent um, the original figure to make the game just look a little bit better. So I'm not bothered with all that sort of thing. Um, the next guy is this one with the Lars Cannon. This again is from the Mission and Dreadnought expansion. And his replacement. Finally for the Marines. Again, I haven't uh, painted this up yet, but he has the Tarantula weapon. This is from the Mission Dreadnought again. And I've just used, this guy will be used for using it and obviously when the um, tarantula gets destroyed he has to take a light bolter so I just wanted somebody a little bit different to so you could spot him on the on the game board when he's playing so I, I use this one with a knife in his hand but uh, he's the guy who's going to be using that and finally uh, we have the commanders. Now the first commander is this one. Again, you've seen these on the Ultramarines that I did earlier. Uh, this is the Heavy Bolter. So I'll leave him in the background so you can have a look at him. And the guy I've gone for uh, with this is this one. Uh, just because he's got a, a rather large gun and it, I think it just represents it pretty well. Another weapon that you get to choose is the power glove and the power sword. Again, I couldn't really find one with this combination. I know there are some out there from the older style um, miniatures that were released years ago, um, but I wanted to use the modern -y sort of ones. So the one that I've decided to go for with that is again, because he's got a power sword, um, I know he's got a bolter in his hand, not a power glove, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is the one that will represent him because the sword is the standout feature of that weaponry. So I think he's pretty good enough. And finally, the other combination you can have is the um, small bolter and the power axe. And for him, it's not a power axe, it's a hammer, but it's good enough and he's got the small bolter. So he will be used to represent that form of the captain or the commander. So I'll put a little pause in here, put them all together and tell you what hopefully the next video in this series will be. Okay, here we have all my ultramarines that I'm going to use in Space Crusader all together obviously you only have uh, five at a time on the board uh, or six if you go for the mission dreadnought because you have to put him on but i think that's about all you're allowed now i'll have to re recap on the rules but you'll see a video on that um, at the end of this series followed by a playthrough um, but what's coming up next uh, hopefully um, the last faction of the space marines will be next um, in the game it's um going to be the Imperial Fists that are, you get with the Space Crusade game but I'm not going to use Imperial Fists um, it's difficult to find them done um, so what I'm going to use instead is Dark Angels because they are my favourite um, faction of Space Marines so I'll use them and I will also do a fourth faction 
Um, I'm going to do Space Wolves as well, but that'll be at a later date. So hopefully the next thing will be the Dark Angels. And then hopefully I will have the um, all the Tarantulas painted up and the Dreadnoughts painted up, so you'll be able to see them in the final up, um, final upgraded video in this series, just before I do the rules video, followed by the gameplay. So yeah, there you go. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.